Namaste. Welcome. Let me teach you the Surya Bedan. It's a general breathing practice for increasing our energy levels. It's best practice in the morning where our bodies are the most open and the mind relaxed. Surya means the sun, the solar energy, and Bedan means to pierce or to enter. But you can do this any time of the day if you feel the need for it. If you're lacking that energy, if you're sluggish, exhausted, or feeling heavy, try a few rounds of this, and it has the stimulating effect in the brain. Yeah, so after waking up in the morning, I really encourage you to find a moment of stillness and just appreciating yeah, the gift of life. Yeah, so if you pray in the morning, do that first. It's good to... Yeah, Welcome the day with yeah, our um, gratitude yeah, to yeah, the miracle of life. Beautiful. You may chant the Om first. Normally I would do that. Just one or two. And the technique itself is simple. The left arm firmly blocks the left nostril. You may open the other fingers out, such as this, or you may close the index and the middle finger close to your hand, the Nasagra Mudra. Now, breathing in through the right side, nice and full. Keep your spine tall. And at the top of the breath, you may suspend. Now, maybe a couple of seconds there, or just as long as it feels light. If you can, why not? Eight seconds, counting by the thousand, thousand four, three, two, one. Just a light clap of the throat to activate the neck, and then releasing, blocking your right side using your middle or ring finger. Exhale through your left side. Yeah. And at the bottom of the exhalation, just a moment of a pause. And then do the technique again, blocking the left nostril, inhale through the right. You may do the meditation, listen to the breath, or you can send your internal gaze inside the forehead. You may lightly cramp your forehead, such as this. Blocking the right using your ring finger, exhale from the left, and relax. You may look inside your heart, meditating upon the humming breath as it exits the walls of the nostrils. Breathing in to the right. Suspend. Listening to silence. Exhale through the left side. So that's the technique. So inhale to the right side. Exhale to the left. So it's like a single nostril breathing. Right. So question, you might be wondering, what happens to the left nostril? Am I leaving my left nostril behind since I'm just inspiring from my right side? No. The left side is generally most open yeah, for uh, a lot of us. Yeah. Especially in the morning, the left side is so open. Yeah. And then the right side is the seat of our energetic I'd say, anatomy. So this is where we get our energetic source for the day. So the right side is the pingala. It's associated with the sun energy. And then as we you know, tackle our day, our normal tasks, our right side slowly becomes, uh, I'd say, less um, efficient absorbing the breath because this is the shock absorber. And then by doing this in the morning, we train the right side, uh, pingalam, the right nostril, to remain open throughout the day. Yeah, and then it's good to increase that energy level so you have the buffer. Uh, because the right side, it's like actually both nostrils, but the right side is associated with the sun energy. So it's good to yeah, absorb that morning grace. And then when you hold the retention inside, but don't force it. If you can just hold it for oh, two or three seconds, that's fine. And bit by bit, progressively lengthening the uh, duration, no, the length of time of your prakumbaka or retention. So what it does we train anatis inside and the lungs and the many channels there inside to absorb you know, more energy out of the breath and then releasing the brackish air out through the left side.
Uh, so, for example, if you're feeling like after the practice, the left side is a bit close or tight, you might just sneeze or blow yeah, the blockages out. Um, you might do kapal body, <laughs> such as that, or you can do a short round of the nadi shodana. Yeah, so, but normally, I, I would just sneeze or blow the blockages out after the practice. And, yeah, find a moment of stillness again after the practice. Yeah, meditating upon yeah, the new sensations, yeah, this yeah, inspiration, the, the healing force, which you just allowed to nourish your system. All right, so how long the program? So if you're just beginning the practice, I'd say five or ten minutes. Yeah, I set the timer there. So you are guided of your practice duration. You may do it sitting on a chair with back support and keeping your spine tall always. Yeah, if you feel like uh, the need to move as you practice, feel free to move back. Yeah, make them gentle movements only so you don't distract the technique. And bit by bit, maybe after each month, you're adding a minute or so until you can comfortably, yeah, progressively and consistently. It's very important to do it consistently. About 15 minutes yeah, over a six-month period, that's not too much to ask. And 30 minutes over uh, a year's time. Yeah, so you might think, oh, 30 minutes is too long for a practice of doing nothing, just sitting. No, time passes so quickly yeah, when we work on our energetic system. And the benefits we gain from this are actually instantaneous. And when we benefit from the practice, we look forward to the next day and so on and so forth and becomes a habit. Yeah, so now, Surya Bedan and the other breathing exercises, they're actually... Yeah, simple to, to learn and practice, but the challenge is sustainability. Yeah, because the body, the mind, the brain is so uh, seeking for uh, activity. Yeah, asanas are quite easy to sustain because you're moving. Yeah, but pranayama or even meditation, yeah, it's uh, the, the challenging part is actually sustaining it. Yeah, for a long period of time. And then when we gain, when we benefit from a certain practice, that's where our brain surrenders. Yeah, because we yeah, love it, we enjoy it, and we're happy doing the practice. So start right away. So don't waste time. So for example, tomorrow morning, if you can just do a couple, maybe five minutes there, yeah, just be. And then do it again the following day and then so on and so forth. So what's five minutes yeah, for yeah, a day of energy? Yeah, and definitely, yeah, when you're doing this practice, you're gaining stability of the mind, you're gaining discipline, because this is a meditation too. So let me know if you have questions. I'll be delighted to hear from you. I'll see you in the next video. Have a beautiful day. Namaste. Bye.